Hi. Yeah. Great to have you in the event today. Yeah, pleasure to be blessed, blessed to be here. Happy to be here. So what brings you to this event? Uh, we, we're here because we're always interested in understanding more about what's happening in the, the blockchain crypto space to see whether there are new companies that we may want to invest in but also just get new new ideas make sure that our thinking is is up to date and add a little bit of sharing in terms of what we're doing in the marketplace sharing our, our journey with others and to see whether as a group we can all grow grow together right so you had a talk today I had a talk today, yes. yes. So can you please give us the highlights of that talk? Okay, uh, what I was sharing was the journey that we're on in terms of what we're looking at is uh, blockchain, but redesigning the thinking behind why we're doing blockchain and looking at kind of can we add uh, for like decentralized intelligence from blockchain. Because my, my background is data analytics and, and finance. Uh, what we're looking at is kind of can through through knowledge through understanding, through intelligence, can we design an ecosystem that helps uh, helps communities grow faster uh, and grow in a way that helps monetize the, the brand in a, in a different way. So it's using data to grow faster, to also to mon monetize the, the value of that ecosystem. Okay, so I'm sure our viewers want to know more about Infonet. So what, uh, what is it all about? Okay, uh, Infinite, uh, we, we support uh, a we, we support third-party organizations. So in so in Malaysia, for example, we we work very closely with Canis. So we provide a, a technology, a blockchain technology with a coin, IPM coin, and essentially at the moment we are doing a lot of work in the, the gaming space. So we're able to take the the analytics platform and add that in with the, the token platform in terms of understanding. Uh, how people who are in the gaming space and want to have that game on the on our, on our on our platform, they can benefit from that because we have the analytics, and then we have the the token in terms of being the the, the transaction piece for uh, using using the games and buying it by buying parts of the game. So. As part of the Canis, Canis is like a, the super app in terms of seven, seven applications in, in one. But in terms of the, the blockchain and what I'm doing personally with them, we're looking at the, the analytics part on the blockchain for, for, for gaming, because gaming is a huge, huge growth area. So what do you think of blockchain as a technology and the, the potential it has in the society? Uh, blockchain as a technology has the ability to completely change the planet. But it's about the, the ability to change the planet through rethinking what we're doing now. Just throwing what we do now onto blockchain is not going to work. Blockchain requires to have an ecosystem, and that ecosystem needs to be connected. So, but connected to do what, in what way? If I want a smart contract, do I have the policies in place that customers know what they're going to get and when, when they, they sign up? It's not just simply taking a group of people uh, and, and uh, connecting them to, to blockchain. It's about rethinking the whole business offering, uh, creating the network, connecting the network via the technology. So technology, blockchain is a, is a leverage technology to connect the community and create that community. But you've got to have the, the intelligence to be thinking about what the, what the ecosystem actually is, why, why it exists, and the, the value proposition, so that everyone in the ecosystem is, is benefiting. Then if you, if you have that thinking in place, then put in place the, the blockchain as a, as a leverage technology to help the, the ecosystem function uh, well, well, well together. It's not just about success through blockchain, it's about success through rethinking your whole business model and then and using blockchain as a tool to make sure the whole ecosystem are, is well, well connected. But that's the, 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 the success is rethinking uh, the ability to plan for the future, not, not blockchain itself. It's blockchain plus, plus, plus. So how well do you think the ecosystem is connected today and what do you think uh, needs to be done in order to reach a 100% connected blockchain ecosystem? Okay, um, uh, good question. Uh, today we had a few, uh, few, uh, few talks, uh, early, early, still early part of the day, but um, the, the success is going to come from the thing people really looking at kind of what, their solu what, what problems their solution is trying to fix. Why would, why would communities want to exist on their blockchain? What are the benefits to people? Uh, how, how, does that, how does that whole community uh, be better off having blockchain, not having blockchain? And then the future is going to be around the, the, the ability of that blockchain community to, or the blockchain technology and the, the owners of that technology to be compliant. 
uh, so that everyone feels that blockchain is living up to the goals of being trusted, being being transparent, and bringing more more efficiencies. If people want, people people are becoming more demanding in terms of what they want in terms of products and services. If I can provide more information uh, faster, cheaper, better through through blockchain, and I can mitigate risk in terms of financial services, or I can make people have more fun through through other uh, gaming technologies and give that to them at a, a better price then and they feel that they're they they have value in being a, a community member they will be a member if the people don't see a value being inside that ecosystem why would they want to be be part of it so it, it's still it's rethinking it's planning it's, it's, it's creating an ecosystem which is compliant uh, so we need to be with the great thing about GBF is that we're trying to be uh, grow compliance from within rather than compliance coming from a, from a government. If we can create this forum whereby the, the communities that we're creating now are we're creating the compliance rules so that we as a group are making sure that we are creating best practice in terms of um, being being owners of some some parts of the, the blockchain and the cryptocurrency space. If we can create good working practices ourselves through GBF, then less need for governments to come in and, then, and enhance what we're already creating. So create good practice from within, plus plan for blockchain to actually add add tangible real value. And then people will come in, in and use it because the, the cost efficiencies are there. So it should drive that drive down the, the costs of doing business. The consumer should be able to get better value for, for money because the, the, the road to market is, is much cheaper. Customers want more choice, so create the ecosystem, make it more fun, uh, make it trusted that people, people will want. Okay. Good to have you today. Okay. Yes, pleasure, pleasure to be here. Thanks for the interview. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you.